in other movies college in india is shown in a very masked way it's very clean True. and i think arjun reddy shows it in a very raw way yeah. it is how it is so no? do you think this is how college life actually yes is? yes i've done engineering no they do it like that they they'll they'll look at you the seniors will look at you they'll call you come and they'll do the raggings and stuff it happens did it happen to it, you also but i'm i'm a very rebellious person i i was like i will not give i'll not give any ragging i'll not do my my friend what there's a scene where they stand and the girls are taking ragging it happens it happened in oh the bus God. it happened with me so i was like in a bus yeah yeah the moving bus we used to go out from a uh, from a bus you know go. so there are only girls in the bus no no girls boys everybody oh my they'll God. not take you tell you to take your clothes and all as they told yeah. in the film but they'll tell you to dance they'll tell you to sing and i was like do whatever i'm not going to do because seniors are very important to the juniors na they'll help you out basically in engineering seniors are the most important than teachers because they have a lot of influential things mm. going on they have good rapport with the teachers they have every notes and all so juniors are like sir please madam please but i was like i'll not do it i'll not do so i was like that only i had one full i was like heroin heroin my whole life i'll not do it i was like that only so i don't think so i faced any problems because i was like i don't need your notes because i was very ready to fail man i was like <laughs> if i fail my father will just let me out of engineering but i knew that if i fail he'll not going to let me do the theaters so i have to anyway study and i realized that one day study is enough man if you because you my friends used to study like for 2 3 months they preparing and i used to study for 1 hour now i felt because they were not they were mugging all the things i mm. can't mug Hmm. I can just understand if I like something I'll understand I'll just write it off and do it. So I thought this is the nice way no you can study one night before and pass it off and getting good marks and my father is letting me do theater as so a like fun life. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how was theater you went to theater for how many years? I think 3 years. How was the years. experience there? It's very intoxicating. It's extremely intoxicating. I never planned theaters okay and uh, theater i was one heroine in my life so i never used to do anything in my house i used to never pick up glass theater when you go no you have to sweep the floors put the mattress so when one day i was sweeping the floor i didn't know how to sweep the floor i was sweeping it very weirdly mm. so my dada we call dada the main person yeah, yeah. so he was like i will not even pay you you know as a maid he was told and he's very uh, blunt they're very blunt they'll kick you also mm. they lot feel that you're a girl or they'll Dada's slap you your helpers or no dada is the main person who's the guru of you okay because i studied in maharashtra they call helpers dada okay so okay no confused. no no confused no. okay he's the main people so okay. anybody who's your guru they'll call dada okay so he told me all that thing and he told me and he asked me one question very first day do you want to be heroine right i was like hmm <laughs> he was and theater people no they have a perception that you should be only theater people you should not work on films they treat they treat the art more big because they feel that people are people get corrupted with the money and stuff if mm. you get money and fame and all but everybody is not like that yaar everybody is living their dreams and all so he told me that uh, i don't think so you will be able to manage the theater thing because it's too much practice and we used to practice every day from 6 to 9 pm and if it's play time then we used to practice from every day two shiftings from 9 morning 9 to 12 then we has to lunch break then we used to be staying there we used to practice from um, 9 to 10 or 11 and in the middle of all that i was managing my studies so that's why sometimes i used to have major breakdowns because mm-hmm. you're living in, in theater no you have to live the character in one go film yeah. you can d- cut and cut and all no mm-hmm. there you have you're on the stage performing live audience are watching you and people will give you the reaction on your face matlab whatever you're doing wrong they're seeing you know so you have to be in the character there's no glycerin and stuff you have to cry hmm. so that's why i am a big nice crier i can cry i can cry without the glycerin i am a big time uh, dramatic person i can do drama because theater overacting because people need to show uh, uh, view your uh, emotions no they sitting they sitting a far distance they need to hear your voice so you have to be loud by your face expressions and your voice yeah. basically i was a over dramatic kid 
I I was taught over acting, so I was like, oh shit! Now I have to come to films. I have to settle down because <laughs> camera catches everything. But I don't think I had problems because I was practicing since my childhood. Yeah. So you think it helped you a lot then theater? Theater is the breaking point of my life because theater only I came to know that I just want to be an actor and nothing else in my life. As in, I am born for this. I am born to act to be different people because you know what. I like uh, um, uh, playing different characters. Hmm. I I get bored this easily. I can't be a doctor. I can play a doctor. I can't be a doctor. I wanted to be a maid when I was in fourth class. What attracted you to be a maid? I really like washing dishes, man. <laughs> so I wanted to be a maid. Then I soon realized I'm I'm very uh, bored with this. Then I wanted to be a chef because, but I didn't like cooking. Okay, I like those costumes and all. and then i realized ki i get bored with all those things but i like playing them for short while so i was like actress is the best thing you know you play different different stuff and then you get over it and then you be shalini yeah and ever since then you've not like you've always shifted but acting uh, as a passion you didn't shift never there was never an op- second option i my friends family what the first thing they used to ask me what do you want they you're small no they'll ask you na what do you want to be yeah. i was like i want to be a heroine directly i used to say i want to be a heroine i like wearing short short clothes i used to say all these <laughs> things and i was a tomboy that time of i was a full girl when i was small i used to make, do all the makeup and stuff and when i grew up i became a more sporty kid mm. i was full into sports i was never into dramatics so my school people don't know that i wanted to be an actress they they thought it's a surprise to them how she became an actress if you've seen me long back now you would have not recognized me my eyebrows are not made i have a cut here i have scars all over my body and uh, i was all tanned and i was playing all the time i was not a girl i was a guy being in shorts all the time i was sitting like this so all those things just changed so now i think yeah i've quite turned into one feminine character mm-hmm. <laughs>